Paro Ninja. Welcome to Pilot Ninja, a content series where we uncover things that frankly we couldn't find on the internet when we were learning how to use Pardot. We'll go through tips and tricks, pitfalls, things to look out for because with automation things can go wrong but things can go really, really right and they can help you drive great business results through the use of Pardot and the Salesforce platform. So get stuck in, enjoy, please give us feedback because a lot of the um, content will be driven by user feedback and let us know how you go. Ooh. Cheers. Okay, so in our last episode, you would have seen how to implement the new Lightning Email Builder, which can be used across the whole Lightning platform, but obviously from a part of perspective, we're especially excited um, because there hasn't been a drag and drop Email Builder ever available, uh, which is crazy to think, but look, you know, uh, products get prioritized in particular ways and we're just grateful that it's here. So it is here only for list emails. So what that means is that you can't use this email function, this email builder for emails that you want to use in, in automation. You can use it for when you're building emails to send to specific lists in a one-time only fashion. So um, the first thing we did was we added our email content tab to our part on app. So a very easy way to do that is just click on this pencil here, click add more items, click on all, and then you can just search for it there and add it to your tab. Because I'm guessing you're gonna be using it quite a bit now. So to create email content, we just come in here. Put in a description if you like, press save. And then there'll be a button that's available that says edit in builder. So here's your email content builder. You can grab image blocks and drag them over, or you can click on these plus buttons and choose what you like. So as you can see, you can start to pretty quickly add new rows. And the great thing is here, as you add a row, and you might be used to this with some other email builders, you can start to add columns, which has been very frustrating uh, in the classic part of email builder. Columns have been a pain. So um, you can choose per column what the what the widths need to be, your padding, etc., and come along here and, and start to uh, sort of even things out a little bit. So if we want four even columns, my math is terrible. I should be doing three by twelve. And there we are. Obviously, the sum of these needs to equal 12, and that's the mistake that I made. Um, so we can then add individual images or buttons or whatever it might be, and we know that this is has come up as a request from our customers very often. So throw in another row. We can put a button in here. Your content is over here. When you click out of it, it'll update. You can put your link URL. You can use merge fields for URLs, which is handy. And then your stylings over here, whether it be font, uh, font family, font size, color. You can see all the all the functions here, all the levers, and your positioning. So that definitely gives you a lot more flexibility. Um, and I mean, you know, just putting even if we go back to this text row. We still have all of the functionality that we that we're used to from you know in terms of merge fields and uh, some of the other editing capability that we have in the classic builder. What we are missing are things such as dynamic content, 
um, and other <clears throat> some other things were quite useful on, on in the in the classic builder but i'm sure it's coming across for now um, these this uh, type of uh, email building is, is definitely a lot faster for um, your list type emails whether it be your monthly newsletter or something similar and another great feature is you know obviously mobile you, you build mobile first these days right so you can very quickly see what it's going to look like in the phone version and start to adjust it accordingly which is very handy <clears throat> now we'll put a little bit of we'll put a um an image here you select from the cms you choose the workspace that you want to pick from and then we've just got some some dummy stuff here that we're going to you can put in that goes in for you automatically uh, we've got some some text here which you edit it over here and i'll update update dynamically Obviously you can put links, etc. everything that you're used to, like I said. Once you're happy, you can save it. And then when you jump out of the email, you can preview. Now, this is not to be confused with the render testing that's available uh, on the Pardot side, but you can, this is essentially that preview tab that you'd be used to. You can also send a test. And there you go, you've got your, your connection to your Pardot list straight away. We can send individual and that is you know similar to the test tab on the classic and then you can send the actual send the actual email itself so because i haven't put particular things that you know that's just a, a qa type type uh, precaution to make sure that their pilot's maintaining its um, sendability um credibility i guess um you know you're going to need a subject and, and text body and they need to make sure that the the email's legit when it's going out so that the, the, IP, the shared ip doesn't get flagged as spam now you can either you know you can sort of look around and see how many times this has been sent etc um you can jump in here and sort of update things as you as you need to but the the other thing to think about here is you can sync from html like you can do when you do the text version in the classic builder and it'll pull across the text version so for you so you can send it across accordingly so have a bit of a play around with it if you've got any questions for us as always feel free to reach out we'll come back to you um, with whatever we think we can help with obviously this can all be customized we've essentially built this video as soon as we put it into our org um, so we'll be customizing this to make it all um, more user friendly. But yeah, um, thanks again for watching and please feel free to reach out. Hey guys, thanks for watching that episode. We hope you got a lot of value out of it. Please don't forget to subscribe and engage with the content because a lot of it is driven by you guys, the user. So we need to know your feedback. Cheers.